Well, it seems like Google right now is looking way beyond into the future. Because as you can see over here, Google DeepMind is hiring for research scientists for post AGI research role in their London UK premises. And this is pretty crazy if you think about it. We don't even have AGI at the moment, but Google is already thinking about hiring scientists who are going to research on what happens once after AGI has reached the market or basically taken over our world. So if I actually click on this, we can see the job role over here, which I'm not going to apply to because of course, I'm never going to be capable of researching something that's going to be close to God or at least in our world, something very much alike to God. So over here, you can see they have their job description. So at Google Mind, we have built a unique culture and work environment where long-term ambitious research can flourish. We are seeking a highly motivated research scientist to join our team and contribute to groundbreaking research that will focus on what comes after artificial general intelligence. The key questions include the trajectory of AGI to artificial superintelligence, machine consciousness, and the impact of AGI on the foundations of human society. Well, if you think about it, Google hiring for a post AGI research, even though AGI is not there at the moment, kind of makes sense. Because as a company, you already know that AGI is something that every AI company, including Google, is aiming towards. And if that is what you're aiming towards and with all the latest news and models coming up and the super fast pace at which they are growing at, it seems like a future with AGI is pretty much going to happen. And it's pretty much a dumb move to hire an AGI researcher after AGI has already come up. Because you never know what AGI is actually going to be capable of. It could be harmful, it could be good at the same time as well, but it could cause a lot of malfunctions, have a very deep level of intelligence which we are not capable of handling, and a lot more problems could happen. So it's always better to be prepared beforehand, and, there, and therefore I guess Google as a company, it's pretty obvious that they are already starting the research based on this for multiple reasons because this could create a safety alignment regarding how AI should be created and what's the potential future going to look like and how AGI in general is going to affect other job domains or other sectors in our world. For example, you can see over here the key responsibilities, spearhead research projects exploring the influence of AGI on domains such as economics, law, health or well-being, AGI to ASI, machine consciousness and education. So it's pretty important that we research all of this stuff beforehand to be well prepared when the real thing actually comes out. Because once AJ comes out, it's not going to be a joke and it's going to be a very high power, highly intelligent, sentient like species that we have to really be ready to defend against and utilize in a way where it doesn't cause the end of our world. So at the same time, the problem with companies hiring for post AGI research roles could be that this is not something which is a government initiative, but more like something which a company is doing. So it could be that whatever they find out about AGI, they could maybe hide it within their own premises and not release it to the public because it could benefit the company in some way or the other, which could actually pose an issue. But at the same time, this is something that even the government of respective countries should take in as an initiative because the government should also impose a law where we start doing post AGI research for safety purposes. But the government as well, you never know if they also figure out the capabilities or some secret underlying information of AGI after AGI comes out, we still don't know if the government will also disclose it to the public or not. So it's really going to be a weird scenario where we wouldn't really know whether to trust someone or not, because anything could really happen. So this is also a way of saying that how popular at the moment AI ML roles have become. You can see the job description, the requirements for this job role are a PhD degree in one of the following areas, memory science, mathematics, mathematics, machine learning, political science, sociology, philosophy, and economics. This job requirement in itself tells that how they want the researcher to have a broad spectrum of knowledge to be able to understand the effect of AGI in every domain rather than just one. So they really want to generalize it and not just be tied up to one specific thing, which is tech. They want to know how this is going to affect everything across every domain, which I think is pretty nice because the future at the moment seems very powerful because it gives everyone the chance to be an entrepreneur. But at the same time, it seems pretty uncertain because not everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur. So yeah, this seems like a pretty insane news and it is really going to be one heck of a creative and difficult role because how do you prepare for something that doesn't exist yet? Well, I guess that's only something we're going to figure out in the future as AI models become more and more smarter and we progress towards the era of artificial general intelligence.